These are probably the most common mistakes I see people making, and it's not always obvious what's gone wrong. So unless you know what to look out for, it makes the problem infinitely more frustrating. So I'm going to show you these three issues and how to quickly resolve each of these problems. So to begin with, we have an object and it looks pretty standard as you would expect it to look. Geometry seems fine. Loops are all in the right places. However, let's come out of edit mode and let's say shade smooth. Everything goes a little bit janky. So we can see here we've got some issues that's gone crazy bad. You see here in the center, this has gone crazy bad. And here, this has gone crazy bad as well. So what's going wrong? And at the subdivision modifier, it kind of highlights the problems even more. So what we can do to begin with is go into edit mode. And the first things first. So if you come up to this menu at the top here, and if you just click on this little icon here under normals, this will show you the direction of all the normals. And we can see here that the direction of the normals is in line with all the faces. So a normal is basically the direction the face is pointing. So we can see here on these faces that we don't have any of these little blue sticks. And if we zoom in through the mesh, we can see that these sticks are on the inside. So this basically means that these normals are flipped in the wrong direction. And all we need to do to fix that is we hold Alt and N and press flip. And it'll flip those around and now all the sticks are pointing in the right direction and it's fixed that issue. As we can see, perfectly smooth. Okay, let's move on to this one. So we can see here there's a crease, but it's not obvious what's going on. Now this one's really simple to fix. This is a result of overlapping vertices. So all we need to do is in vertex select mode, select everything, then press M, and merge by distance. And that'll remove those eight vertices there, merge them together, and now problem solved. Now finally, we have got this crazy shading here in the middle. What could be causing that? Because it's not duplicate vertices, because it would have fixed it in the last instance. All the normals are correct. So why do we have this strange shading band? Now, this is often caused when people use the mirror modifier. Now, what we can do is we can go into vertex mode, Alt Z for X-ray mode, and then we're just going to select all of these vertices I'm going to select all of these vertices. I'm going to ignore this ring here and just press H. Now, what we're seeing here is we have a face inside the mesh. So all we need to do is press delete or press X and we want to delete only faces. And then if we Alt H, then we have perfectly smooth shading. I hope this saves you a lot of frustration. If you enjoyed this, then you're going to want to check out this recommended video or check out my full quick tips playlist. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button first.